Hey guys, this is Joanne from Joanne Smith Marketing and today I'm just doing a quick video tutorial on how to move a website to a, another hosting server or to a hosting on a subdomain. So this is a WordPress site I'm going to move today and we use a plugin called All-in-One WP Migration. It's a fantastic plugin. I have been using it for the last year or so and it does everything you need to do. It's very easy. You just load the plugin to your existing website um, and the only thing I can say right now is when you're moving from one server to another, if your website has any plugin that is activated for um, security or Google Capacia login or an SLL certificate, things like that, um, I would uh, deactivate those because when we move this site to the other site, uh, they can interfere with the login. But you can activate those plugins once the uh, site is moved across. So the plugin moves everything. It moves the whole WordPress framework, database, media files, everything you have there. It's just absolutely fantastic. What you do is you go to your plugins and you, um, you install the all-in-one plugin. I have it installed here, but for those people that don't know how to install plugins, you just go to your plugins area, click add new, uh, search plugins, type all in one WP migration. It will come up in the list. Uh, you can see it's activated on my computer, but if it's not activated, you just click install now and then activate. For those with large websites, the basic version gives you, is a free and it gives you 20 megabyte but if you have a large website it may be best to uh, upgrade to the pro version it's always a good idea to upgrade to pro versions for any plugins anyway because you get more features so I have the all-in-one uh, migration unlimited extension okay so what you do to make it work what we do is you go to the plugin on the left hand side and click on export and then you can export to now it has quite a list of things you can do file Dropbox Google Amazon I, I use file so we're just exporting to my computer my local drive on my computer so it's going to retrieve the database And it's telling me I've, my website is 61 megabytes, so I will now click download and save it to my local computer, to my download, and close this. So while that's happening, we just pop over to the other website I've set up. So go to your hosting, set up a new domain, set up a new website, load WordPress, and the only thing you have to do is Go to your install plugins and load the all-in-one migration, WP migration, and of course I upload the pro version. That gives me a greater download. That's all you have to do. And we then click import. Just, and it's Let's see, let me go import from, file, we choose the file that's in our download folder, we open, and I'll start to import the, the, uh, everything from the other side. Okay, I'm back again. Now, when the uh, file is uh, completely imported into the new hosting, 
you will get a message that says the import process will override your website, including the database, media, plugins and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data. So that's just letting you know that you're going to import this and you're going to override this website. So we know we're doing that, so we'll just click proceed. And it is now installing the new database. So we'll just click close here. And it will ask us to log in with our password from the previous site. And we should log back into the dashboard. And if we visit the site, it should be exactly the same. And here it is. Everything is there from my original site. And if we go back to the dashboard and look at the plugins, all, this, all the plugins have come across. Um, the plugins, uh, if you have any paid plugins that need to, uh, license keys, you need to install those license keys. But otherwise, everything is there. If you have any security plugins, activate those. And that's simply how you move everything. Let's go and check our. Um, Check everything is there. And check our media. And it's pulled all the media images across. If we go check our posts, it has pulled all the posts across. So that's a fantastic plugin, highly recommended. It is the easiest way of transferring a website from one hosting to another hosting. And conversely, it is also um, the best plugin to use if you want to simply, if you finish your website for yourself or if you finish your website for your client, and you want to back it up, use, just use this plugin, download the file onto your lo local hard drive, and it is there in case the website breaks and you need to reinstall it. Um, if the client is working on the website and they're adding blogs and posts, um, then if you install that original file, of course, it's only going to go back to the same date you have done a backup. But it's better than nothing. Conversely, you could log in once a month and do a fresh download of the site using that plugin. Um, you could charge a client $10 a month or something to do that. But um, it's best for, yeah, it's, it's a good way of backing up a site that's completed and so you can reinstall it but it's probably the fastest way i've come across of um, moving one site from uh, a domain name to another domain name okay um, that's it for now and thank you for watching